this is going to be a short video. Um, I was all of these debates on accuracy in um, Harriet Tubman's movie. Um, I had somebody said the wildest comment trying to discredit people. And um, it was, you know, our people don't need fake stories, you know, and not getting into Harriet, true or false, I don't think you can tell um, one perspective story, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have multiple perspectives, um, but what you can tell is a story of meaning, whether it's the truth or fiction, you know, whether it's nonfiction, a biography, or a fictional story, a parable, and um, I think that is pretty much what makes any stories um, important. I mean, if you're going to tell a story, the most important part of the story, most important aspect of the story is the message, the, the, the why are you telling me the story? I mean, I could tell you a story about a Thursday in Malcolm X's life, and it may not have any importance, it may not move you one iota, because he may not have done anything in relationship to who he was. But if I'm telling you a story of Malcolm X, and it relates to who we understand Malcolm X to be, that becomes important because the story has a good message. It makes you think good things. So, so when somebody said that, you know, our people don't need fake stories, I don't believe, I don't agree with that. Um, I, I believe that we need inspiring stories. I believe we need to have stories that answer questions and speculate about things. Um, I like the term speculative fiction. I like science fiction and Afrofuturism when it speculates about unsolved questions, when it dreams of things that we don't have now so we can reach and get to those things. And so for me, I always answer and, and say, you know, yes, it's important to acquire information. It's important to learn about the world and the people that we live in, but beyond that, Yo, what is, and I'm not going to say more important, but equally as important as the accumulation of knowledge, it is to create and achieve more knowledge and create things that we don't have. And that's what fiction, storytelling, speculative fiction does or can do. Like I say, you can have uh, nonfiction stuff that teaches you nothing. You can have speculative fiction that speculates about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, even though both can entertain and that is a useful tool, you know, if you write, you know, a how-to book about something that everybody knows how to do, but it's interesting, it takes your mind off the world that we're living in, A, it can serve as a stress reliever. Same thing with, you know, science fiction or fiction in general. Maybe it's not about anything speculative, new, no answering, no great grandiose question, but it takes you away from the world that you live in for a moment and allows your body to rest. Some people are so stressed that they sleep and dream stressed out dreams. I know I do that sometimes. That's just how the world is. So what I like to do is to make sure I download from some of that stress and go into the speculative world. So you can you can come for my black card, but I'll actually take yours if you come for mine and tell me that black people don't need speculative fiction, don't need made up stories, and it's not just for children. These are grown adults. We need to continue. Matter of fact, adults in 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 certain fields need to speculate more than other people because they have big things that they have to solve. Engineers speculate, doctors speculate. So yeah, speculative stories, playing out different scenarios, all of that is vitally and crucially important to black people. So I understand, you know, there's frustration around this movie, Harriet, but let's not get it twisted. Fake stories and imagination is vital.
and important to black people. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.